The Woodcock-Johnson 4 is a norm reference test that measures intellectual abilities, academic achievement, and language ability. The WJ-4 is important because it establishes an individual's present levels of performance, it determines academic strengths and weaknesses, it compares an individual performance to age or grade peers, and it explores eligibility for special program. It investigates the effectiveness of curricula, assists with rationales for recommendations that propose specific curricular adaptations or modifications, and it monitors educational progress across school years. Okay, this is the test record. Now on the front of the test record, it has all the students' information that you want to fill out. You know, name, uh, school, date, grade. It also has observation checklists with it's good to fill this out because it gets to know your student a little bit so that they might be able to feel a little bit more comfortable when taking the test and they don't really think it is a test. You can even tell them that it gets a, uh, we're just going to do some practice questions and everything, you know, for, try to not make it a uh, high anxiety feature. And we have right here the subject response booklet and this is what the student writes in, takes notes, Jost and answers. Um, there's also some questions that they need to answer, true, false, mathematical questions that they fill out. The examiner's manual. Okay, we also need a timer, so you can use an iPhone, stopwatch, clock, whatever. The test administrator uses a pencil, and the test taker uses a pencil. Okay, the test suggests that the student has a pencil without an eraser so they don't take time erasing the answers, they can just cross out the answers. There are three versions of the test. Test A, B, and C. I have test A. Each version has 11 tests that are considered the standard battery of tests. Tests 1 through 6 assess reading, math, written language, academic skill, and academic application. Each test should take about 5 to 10 minutes to administer. In most cases, you will follow the order of the tests as they are presented in the easel textbooks. However, you may administer the test in any order. As a general rule, you would not administer two time tests involving sustained writing in a row. When scoring, you take the test record. Okay, so inside the booklet is where you log in all the answers. So if you score a 1, it means the student got the answer correct. A 0 means it's incorrect. Okay, on the heading of each test, it has a basal and a ceiling. Basal is 6 correct in a row and the ceiling is 6 incorrect answers in a row. Once the student gets 6 incorrect answers in a row, then the test is over and you move on to the next. Okay, so next I'm just going to do a little bit of mock testing. So, we'll go to the first section, which is letter word identification. And on the page that says administrator overview, it gives you all the directions on how to do this. And it also has a suggested starting point. So, for the sake of this, let's say the student that I'm assessing is in second grade. Okay, so on my page, where it says suggesting starting points, it has grade levels. So we look at grade two, and it says begin with item 22 on page 19. Okay, so once we get to page 19, and you just read the directions. It says point to the word have on subjects page and say, what is this word? After subject response, say, go ahead with the others. Don't read the words too quickly. So, you log their answer if they got it right, one. If they got it incorrect, zero. And make sure that you correspond with the question number. So you go down to 22. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Next word. Thank you. Next word. And so on. Okay, so once the student reaches the ceiling, which for letter word identification is six, incorrect, 
it is over. You add the answers up, then you go to the scoring table, which is to the right. You find the number of correct answers, and you circle it, and you add it up. Okay, so next we'll look at the applied problems. Just flip it over there. You can do the same thing. Go to the suggested starting point. Second grade says item 9, page 45. Okay, so with this test, you allow the student to take their booklet and a pencil, jot down notes if they need to, and you do the same thing as you did with the last set test. It says run your fingers across pictures on subjects, page, and say. And you read. How many apples have not been eaten? And if they need to jot down any notes or whatever, give them time. And they say the correct word, mark one on the zero sheet, zero if it's incorrect. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over to the math facts fluency. This is the time test. It's three minutes, so you need your stopwatch. The student is going to record his or her answers in the subject response booklet with a pencil. You give them three minutes to answer as many questions as they can and then you refer back to the examiner's manual and it helps you score the test. Okay, once the test is fully administered and you're ready to log in the scores, uh, with the WJ4 they actually have an online resource which is www wjscore.com and you create an account, you log in, you create a folder for the student and you enter all the personal information and enter the scores and you create a report. Okay, so once all the scores are logged into the website it will kind of produce a score report looking something like this. It has the raw scores, the RPIs, uh, proficiency, and so on. It looks something like this. Okay, so that pretty much sums up the Woodcock Johnson 4. Thank you for listening.